Hello everyone, I'm Frank Fu. Today we're going to talk about two incredibly powerful AI models, OpenAI's GPT-40 and DeepSeek's DeepSeek uh, V3. Both have achieved tremendous success in the AI field, but what exactly sets them apart? Which one is better suited for your needs? In this video, we'll dive into a detailed comparison covering model overviews, features, performance, pricing, and use cases to help you make an informed decision. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at the GPT-40. This is OpenAI's latest multimodal model, released on August 6, 2024, with a knowledge cutoff date of October 2023. It's based on the transformer architecture and supports multimodal inputs, including text, audio, and images, enabling end-to-end -end real-time voice and video interactions. GPT for all the API providers include OpenAI and Azure OpenAI services, making it ideal for scenarios requiring high-quality text generation and complex reasoning. Next up is uh, DeepSeek V3, released on December 27th, 2024, with an unknown knowledge cutoff date. It's built on the mixture of experts, MoE architecture, boasting 671 billion parameters, but activating only 37 billion parameters per inference, significantly reducing computational costs. DeepSeek V3 currently supports only text input, but may expand to multimodal capabilities in the future. Its API providers include the DeepSeek and Hugging Face, and its open source, supporting local deployment and customization, making it highly suitable for cost-effective and flexible scenario. In terms of input context window, both GPT-40 and DeepSeek V3 support a 128K token context window. This means they can handle very long text content, such as a book chapter or a complex report. For tasks requiring extensive context processing, both models are highly suitable. In terms of maximum output tokens per request, uh, GPT-40 can generate 16.4K uh, tokens, while DeepSeek V3 can generate 8K tokens. Uh, if you need to generate longer content, uh, such as a detailed article or complex code, GPT-40 might be more suitable. However, for most everyday tasks, DeepSeek V3's 8K tokens are sufficient. Regarding open source, GPT-40 is a closed source model with its weights and implementation details not publicly available. This means developers cannot customize it. On the other hand, DeepSeek V3 is open source, supporting the local deployment and customization making it ideal for developers needing high flexibility. For example, you can adjust the model's uh, parameters or integrate it into your enterprise systems. Now let's compare the performance of the two models. In the MMLU benchmark, GPT-40 scored 88.7%, while DeepSeek V3 scored 88.5%. .5%. The MMLU test covers knowledge across 57 subjects uh, including math, history, and law. Both models perform very closely in knowledge-based tasks, but GPT-40 has a slight edge in complex reasoning tasks. In the MMLU protest, GPT-40 scored 74.68%, while DeepSeek V3 scored 75.9%. SMLU Pro is a more challenging benchmark with harder reasoning problems and a larger selection set. Uh, DeepSeek V3 performed better in this test, indicating its advantage in handling complex reasoning tasks. In code generation tasks, GPT-40 scored 90.2%, while DeepSeek V3 scored 82.6%. The human evil test evaluates a model's code generation and problem-solving capabilities. GPT-40 performed better in engineering code generation, while DeepSeek V3 excels in algorithmic code generation. In terms of mathematical ability, GPT-40 scored 75.9%, while DeepSeek V3 scored 61.6%. The math test covers math problems of varying difficulty levels. 
GPT-40 performs more consistently in complex math tasks, while DeepSeq V3 does better in basic math tasks. In the GPQA test, GPT-40 scored 53.6%, while the DeepSeq V3 scored 59.1%. The GPQA test evaluates a model's doctoral level, knowledge in chemistry, biology, and physics through multiple choice questions requiring deep domain expertise. A DeepSeq V3 performs better in this test, indicating its advantage in tasks requiring deep domain knowledge. In the IFU EVO test, DeepSeq V3 scored 86.1%, while GPT O does not support this test. The IF for EVO test evaluates a model's ability to accurately follow explicit formatting instructions, generate appropriate outputs, and maintain consistent instruction adherence across tasks. DeepSeq V3 performed exceptionally well in this test, demonstrating its clear advantage in instruction following tasks. Next, let's talk about something that everyone is very concerned about, the pricing. For GPT-40, the cost is 2 50 per million input tokens and 10 per million output tokens. In contrast, DeepSeq V3 offer a much lower price, with only 0 0.0 per million input tokens, and low petals not 12 per million output tokens. If you are looking for a low-cost, high-performance AI solution, DeepSeq V3 is the better choice. In summary, GPT-40 and DeepSeq V3 each have their strengths. If you need multimodal support and high-quality open-domain dialogue, GPT-40 is the better choice. However, if you need a cost-effective, high-performance AI solution, especially for mathematical reasoning and code generation tasks, DeepSeq V3 is more attractive. Ultimately, the choice depends on your specific needs. We hope this video helps you better understand these two tools. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We'll share more in-depth reviews and tips on AI tools. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.